Hello, this is Mr. Bamu Idono Brene. I'm here to show you how you can create a dynamic document using Microsoft Word. So it's very easy. All you just need to do, you need to have the FFX in your Microsoft Word, as you can see it here in my. So let me just do a simple dynamic document so that you get what I'm talking about. So and let me just create an equation. You click on this. So it has opened the equation mode for me. Then let me do a simple calculation. Let me work on let's say a quadratic equation. Let's say ax square plus let's say bx plus c equals to zero. So this is the general quadratic equation. Let me impute this first into my Microsoft Word. So just click on this. So you see it's there already. Okay. Now let's define let's define these parameters now, which is A, B, and C. Those are the things that made it dynamic. So that you can be alternating them, you can be changing them as you are working. Okay, let's go back to the document. Let's still need to click on this again. Okay. Now let's go to this. We call it an edit dynamic parameters. So let's start defining them here. You can see some options here. You can have a list. You can define a parameter and call it list. You can list the numbers you want to you want them to appear. You can list them in terms of range. Like this one now is from minus two to plus two. Then you can do in range. Then be having some steps. It just depend on what you want. You can even do uh, ways to numbers. You can use them or you can do something like this. But this is just what I want. I want let me use let me use list. Let me just list the set of numbers I want. So to get this dollar sign your keyboard, you know how to get it, just press your shift and four. It will come out. So let me define A first. So A I want list. So I want to list some set of numbers. So I want A to be let's say one comma let's say two comma three. So these are my numbers for A. A should be one two three so that is all then you do the same thing shift and four let's define b so let me also use list so b i want b to be between to be one of these numbers let me say minus let's say minus two comma let's say minus three comma Okay, let's use a positive number. Let me say five. Okay, come on. Let me just say six. Okay, so I want B to be among these numbers. So you already know all your example. All your examples you want to give to your student. The coefficient of uh, x, the coefficient of x squared. You already know them. Just list them out here, and you are okay. Then the last one, which is C, you say shift. Four, you get your dollar sign then c is equals to i want to also use list then you open and close your bracket let's say c i need c to be okay, let's say c is a minus let me say minus one let's say minus three let's say minus five okay, let me just put a positive number let's say let's say six okay you know let me use a smaller number let's say one for example so that is all i've defined my three parameters a b and c then you click on ok then you come and type them here so if you just type shift four and a you see the result for parameter is out so that means i want a to be this so i'll use a equals to this so that is that <laughs> let me give some space then i want b to be equals to <clears throat> this dollar sign b let me give some space and i want c to be equals to <clears throat> this dollar sign c so that is it you can see my three parameters in my quadratic equation a b and c then you can change them and see you can when i put my mouse here you can see it regenerate parameter values because if i click on it see it will alternate them 
it will be giving you a result from the list you just put out there see as I click it's changing them as I click it's changing them so you can use it to change your questions in your Microsoft Word so we'll take notes of that so you can list as so many numbers you want here depend on what you are trying to solve and that so I've done this so I'm good to go then you mark good here so it will enter your Microsoft Word so this is your values so A is 1, B is 6, C is minus 1 but if you see my equation here I've not defined them yet you see A is 1 but it's not showing as A1 A is 1 here B is 6 it's not showing here C is minus 1 it's not showing here so I need to edit this one you click on it click on edit then let's put the dollar sign in the front then let's go to B let's go to C if you see the equation I've not changed because I've not copied it into this one but I'll copy it in Microsoft Word page so now let's copy now so I need to copy all these ones A, B and C into this my quadratic equation so that it will come out as it's supposed to be so all you just need to do you click on this I want all the parameter here A, B and C I want to copy so you come here click on copy if you see when I've not clicked here, you can see that copy is not highlighted. Take note of that. So now that I click on this, see copy parameter is highlighted. Just click on copy parameter. Then I want to copy it in this quadratic equation here. Then paste it here. So you copy it from there and paste it here. Then you see new parameters applied to object. So that is all. You can see my equation is clear and fine now. So A is 1 coefficient of x squared, b is 6, coefficient of uh, x, then c is minus 1. Okay, let me correct this. It's supposed to show me 6x, not 6a. Let me edit it. So it's supposed to be 6, it's supposed to be x, sorry. And this is a quadratic equation. x squared plus bx plus c. That is the three quadratic equations. So, it's okay I've corrected it so that is x squared plus 6s minus 1 equals to 0 so that is it then if you want to start changing the values of a b and c you click on the equation you generate here see it's generating it for us say you should save just save there's no problem with that so that is at least for the first time we'll just tell it to save so it has changed there for us now. So this 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 equal to 0. You can see it. Then if you want to change the question again, just like that, you change it. Same thing. So it has done it again. It has changed it for us. A is 1, B is 6, then C is minus 5. Let me just do it one more time. You click again. So you can see it now a is 2 b is minus 2 c is 1 so with this you can change your question examples for your children change it give them classwork just like that and time your student and you move fast so this is one of the simple way we can do dynamic documents you can solve you can put an equation solve down just like that it depends so this is one of the simplest way you can do a dynamic document in Microsoft Word. So this is where I will stop in this video and that is all for now. Do have a nice day.